I'm just a girl. I've been wanting to try this Maybelline Super Stay. Oh my God. I can smell this before I even spray it. I brought y'all here for nothing. Literally. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two-turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that I grew beside, all the niggas proud me, I had it died, gotta watch the time cause it's flying right by, I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, what's up y'all welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is angel if you are new here and welcome to another vlog honey okay i am so happy y'all one because it's friday i'm in a super good mood one is friday two is spring break so i am super excited but i am kind of pissed because i did have um plans on going to the beach sunday through wednesday of this week but i won't be going y'all because it's gonna be way too cold and i'm like you know what why just go waste money and go to the beach when you can't even enjoy the beach like i mean you can do like little stuff at the beach but i want to be on the beach like all day i love the beach y'all already know if you're not new here honey okay but i'm feeling like i want to have me like a little self-care moment so i end up making my <laughs> let me stop <laughs> my second purchase on tiktok shop i think this is my second i think it is y'all but i am so excited to try this item and i said i was not going to try it without y'all because y'all know i gotta put y'all on if it's good because i've been low-key looking for a little doopy doop anyway but before i try it out i'm gonna go ahead and like um veep my legs it's really time for me to go ahead and do my wax and everything girl because i almost i lifted my arms up and i was like okay it's getting a little crazy for me because i don't like hair in my body y'all like at all it's really not that crazy though just in case i wanted to see <laughs> my skin is skinning honey like my skin is glowing is it the light is it me is it the skin what yes come on dermatologist regimen it's looking good but anyways um i'm about to take my shower because i have to try this product after my shower i'm about to beat my legs and then i'll probably end up doing a wax maybe later today or maybe even tomorrow but i actually have a whole video on that um, coming out for you guys um, just about underarm like tips and tricks and how to manage sweaty uh, stinking armpits girl because listen my hormones have been crazy since I got off the Depovera shot y'all and I be having to switch deodorant some days I need me in deodorant some days I have to do a little one too like <sighs> It's hard out here if I'm just a girl. Oh, listen. But I got a video coming. And if it's already out by the time I upload this vlog, I'll leave like a little card or something for it. So go check that out. If I'm not using Veet, I use razor sometimes. Like if I'm in a real rush. But because I'm in a rush and I prefer to keep my waxing on a schedule. And I want to upkeep my, you know, little regimen and routine that I got going on. So, yeah. But we are going to go ahead and do some nair too. Um, I nair my whole bottom have damn near y'all because yeah you know how when you go to the strip club i done told y'all before and those strippers booties they be soft girl okay the dancers got some soft booties listen <laughs> and their skin is so smooth like i love when i get compliments about good things y'all like i love when baby tell me you so soft like your skin feels so soft um i just like compliments like that you smell good you pretty you look beautiful I love all of that, okay? Listen, <laughs> who don't, okay? Because all five love languages, not one, not two. I need all of them. So I just took my bath and just put on, like, my little house dress that I like wearing around the house. And we about to open this girl up. I hope it's really worth the hype because y'all know TikTok shop and TikTok in general will have y'all buying stuff and 
Jill, we know if it's worth the hype or not. Listen, so we about to try this. Uh, I'm just hyped. Oof. I should go get my box cutter. I don't want to do all of that. Can we just get it to it? I'm trying to break a nail in that. Ooh, even the package smell good. Mmm. I just threw it on the floor because. So this is the Canvas Beauty Body Glaze. I'm sure you guys have been seeing this all over TikTok. They have so many different scents. I chose Cream Puff, and it smells so good, so sweet, like really, really sweet. And this one says it is limited edition, so yeah. I'll maybe leave the link or something like that um, or a card for this, y'all, to check it out. Let's see what it do, honey. This has some really good clean ingredients in it. Oh, this smells good. This smells really sweet. Uh, I like it. So, like I said, I've been looking for a Fenty Beauty, um, well, a Fenty Skin. Whoa. Y'all, it literally turned into liquid. Do y'all see? Whoa. It almost kind of smells like popcorn. Like, like something that's really, really sweet and... I can't even describe it. It does smell like popcorn. That's crazy. I hope it's not sticky. Like, I hope it's not going to leave, um, like, make my floors sticky if I'm barefooted or, like, my sheets sticky because I'm already a hot-ass sleeper. Listen. Do y'all see this? <laughs> Hold up. Because, yeah. Do y'all see it? Hey, try not to show too much, honey. When I'm at the house, Call me Mrs. Commando. I love the Fenty um, skin, y'all, but it's kind of expensive. And if I gotta be honest, like the Fenty is more of a thicker cream, and this gives me like the vibes of more so like an oil, like an oil based moisturizer or an oil based body butter. If that makes sense. Like, I can definitely tell, like, girl, look at my legs, that this is, like, homemade. But I love this. Like, my skin, my feet, everything feels so soft. I think at $25, I'm going to go get the strawberry shortcake as soon as I finish rubbing this one in. If y'all remember, I told y'all that I was going to show you new products for my healthy hair journey once they come in. So, this is some things that I ordered from Amazon. I got some jojoba oil. So, I learned that fine, low porosity hair needs a lighter oil. Almond oil is another good one. It is great for moisturizing the hair. All these oils have good benefits. The last one that I got is grapeseed oil. I was going to actually pick up avocado oil too, but I think avocado is better for high porosity hair. So these are just some shears that I ordered because I have scissors, but the scissors I got literally came from like the beauty supply store and were like 99 cents. So I'm like, I need better quality, especially if I'm going to be, you know, doing a little one too. And these are so cute. I showed you guys the deep conditioning cap, but this is actually supposed to be a steamer for your hair. So I'm really excited about this because like I said, my hair sometimes gets really dry. So steaming is probably going to be really, really good for me um, when I'm not doing deep conditioners underneath my hooded dryer or either my little dryer that I got that you put in the microwave. So this is what it looks like. Whoa. And then it's battery operated and everything, girl. It's nice. Okay, girl. It is nice. And you just plug it up. You do have to sit in one spot, which is kind of hard for me. I feel like I'm, listen, ADHD undiagnosed. I hate being in the same place for a long time. The last item, which I am pissed about, and I'm about to contact customer service, honey, because the accountability. Listen, the moisturizer literally has wasted out of the container, y'all. I'm glad they put it in the bag, but... The method to their madness clearly didn't work. You guys can see it's built out. This is supposed to be um, really good and hydrating, so I cannot wait to try this on my hair. But I might go ahead and use, open this one up and use a little bit of this one just today. And then they want me to send it back 
uh, send it back and get a new one. It'll be our secret. Don't tell nobody, y'all. And the last hair product I have to show you guys is the As I Am Leave-In Conditioner. And I got this for Case and Hair so he can use it to, like, style and sponge his hair and to keep his hair moisturized, too. I don't think I'm going to use this for myself, though, because I see that it has coconut oil and that is not good for my hair. My hair hates coconut oil and olive oil. So, um, yeah. I'm going to let him try this one out. What's up, y'all? So, it's the next day. I end up getting my um, niece and nephew and Casey, y'all. So, I'm on my mommy auntie duties, period. So, we about to go get some lunch in a few minutes. I want to go to um, the Capital Oyster Bar, but they don't want to go. They don't make no. Okay, well y'all need to get ready and put your clothes on now. Well, just hold off, cause we trying to see. Cause I'm trying to see if I'm up for all of that too, honey. Cause it's one of me. Listen, so we about to do Brooklyn's hair. Um, who told you to answer my phone? <laughs> Y'all, we about to do her hair because my hair, I just redid it how it's been the past couple days, y'all, because I'm trying to stretch my relaxer out and it's really hard. It's been a challenge doing that. So, um, we working on it. Stretching my relaxer out. So, I just been trying to wear my hair in um, different styles and stuff, y'all. This is my first time doing my niece's hair. Like, normally, my mama always have her hair done or her mama, y'all. But my mama be doing it up, okay? My mama, like, because me, it was me and my sister, we heard two girls, and the only two girls from my mom, and then my brothers on my dad side. But, um, she is used to it, so she do it all the time. Normally, oh my God, I know. Are you got a, you got a tender head, girl. Oh my God, you tender headed. Your mom used to be tender headed. Trying to be gentle. Oh my gosh. And she was a drama queen, y'all. <laughs> y'all, girls are so I know it's probably do her. I don't want to wet your hair so much just in case we in, in case we go out. Okay? I couldn't even get that out. I know. I'm just gonna do a bun. Just one bun, please. I know. <laughs> Hold on a few minutes because you're going to be so pretty, okay? <laughs> We're just going to do a quick bun, just like that. I'm almost finished. You got to finish letting me comb it out, though. Okay? Okay. If your bun a little crooked, I'm sorry. Brooklyn. Yes? Hey, Brooklyn. Hey, Brooklyn. Hey, Brooklyn. Hey, We just got Taco Bell instead, y'all. She got chicken nuggets. Yes, McDonald's. I got a Big Mac. And I'm gonna try their new little sauce that they came out with. See what it gives. We about to enjoy this lunch and I'm gonna talk to y'all a little later. You guys, I just got done. Um, oh, my lips are so dry. I don't. You don't? What about a v neck t shirt? No, oh, yeah, I'll come in and help in a minute and put some lotion on your face. So I just finished doing my hair, y'all. Today is Tuesday. I'm about to take the kids to uh, like a jumping trampoline park, and then we also about to go to Papa Do's. I'm ready for Papa Do's, okay? I low key want to go to a steakhouse, but I'm like, you know what. Just chill. When I tell y'all my bun is so tiny, 
Like, I don't know if y'all can see. My bun is so little, but it's so cute. And I'm dressed kind of casual, honestly. I actually want to um, not even wear sneakers. Like, I actually want to just wear, like, my little Ugh, slippers that I love to wear, girl. Um, but I think it's kind of cold. It's going to get cold today. And they have my toes out. And I ain't trying to get sick, y'all. I just want to do something natural to my face. My skin already looks good without nothing. But I just want a little bit of something. Just because I'm going to be out all day and I want to look cute. I forgot me washing my hair yesterday, y'all. I did not even oil my scalp. And I got gel in my hair now. Edge control. <sighs> But every night I take my bun out, so even if I have to redo it tomorrow, I'll take it out. And then I'm going to put some of the um, hair oil in it. I just ordered another hair oil, and once that comes in, because that is it for the hair products that I'm buying, I'm going to pretty much show you guys um, even more stuff that I got. And I have hair videos coming for you guys. I got the perfume videos coming back. Like, I'm so excited. I just got to get on my Zoom. That's it. That's all. I've been wanting to try this Maybelline Superstay Vitamin C skin tint for the longest and i said that i wanted to try it with you guys and it comes with this little dropper and i'm just gonna use the tiniest bit i'm not even gonna do primer because i want my i want to give like skin and that may even be too much because i don't know the coverage on it because it is a skin tint so it's still gonna like make me look like myself if that makes sense we're gonna start off with just a little bit though and I'm mainly just focusing this like in this area of my face where I have like um, acne scarring and stuff and maybe like a little bit around my mouth area where I have a little hyperpigmentation. This is actually a little um, darker and redder than my actual skin tone, but it's fine. I think we're gonna leave it just like this. I was gonna do a little bit of concealer, but I don't have like dark under eyes anyway. This is just a little Japanese brush that I got from Marshalls a minute ago girl. I love it like it's good for when I just want to put um, Foundation or just put product where I actually need it instead of like doing a full face but I actually meant to take this out and put the pump in there which will make it so much easier But the dropper actually is not bad um, Honestly, like it's really not bad. I'll do it later. I said I wanted to leave the house by 1 30 But um, it's 141. So now we're just gonna do this blush. It's just this NYX matte blush and it's in the shade summer breeze and i've been liking this just a little bit on my nose a little on my cheek just to kind of give me like a little something make me look like i'm here and i'm not taking any makeup or anything with me like it is what it is i may put this little mini um charlotte tilbury powder y'all this is the smallest powder i've ever seen in my life like it's literally the size of a quarter how are we supposed to use this it was a free gift from my sephora order but girl be for real how sway let me try some with my um, powder puff. Is it dry? Because I washed it last night. I washed my powder puff, do y'all? Oh, well you literally can use it and put it where it needs to go. In my makeup bag it goes with the powder puff. Let me get one. Y'all, my little brain be all over the place. Listen, uh, this is the mini one that I normally carry in my like bag when I'm going out or when I want to have touch-ups. And this is the even smaller one. And this is just my little powder puff case. Just so when I um, do use it and stuff, my makeup, like the makeup from the powder puff does not get all over my purse because I try to take care of my bags. Honey. Okay, for my lips, I got this Dior lip oil. I know I have been telling you guys I wanted rosewood since forever and I finally got it. So, um, I'm going to rock this for today see what it gives for the lips like i think it's gonna get like the perfect tint and the more you wear it on the lips y'all uh like the more you put it on which you don't have to keep putting it on which is one thing i love about this is super nourishing and it's thick which i love like i don't like no watery thing lip balm butter gloss oil none of that but I think this is going to get better and better as it wears throughout the day. I kind of want to put on a lip liner, but I kind of want to keep it natural. I feel like today I want it to be like chill and comfortable, but I also want to be kind of put together if that makes sense. Since we are going to go to Papa Do's, I don't really think they have a dress code, but I want to be chill um, because it is a rainy day today, y'all. Like it's kind of muggy outside and stuff. So um, I was like, let's just have a nice chill day i wanted my hair to just be cute but i still want to be put together if that makes sense so i picked up this um perfume they actually had this for the ulta 
they don't do the 21 days of beauty anymore i guess it's called the ulta i think it was a sale or something that they have let me let me show y'all I literally got everything stacked up on my phone, y'all. My lip gloss, the powder, the powder puff, an extra battery, everything that I need. So I can just throw all of this in my purse and go out the door. And I'm not um, changing my purse. I was gonna change it, but I'm like, you know what? We gotta go. Like, it's almost two o'clock. The semi-annual beauty event. That's what they're calling it. And it's actually still going on now. Um, I don't know by the time I upload this video if it'll still be on or not. Um, but I did get this perfume and this smells really good i feel so bloated like i low-key wanted to wear some jeans or something y'all but i just feel so bloated and it's almost the time of the month maybe i should never wear gray and maybe i'm gonna change my outfit real quick or maybe i should just look at my app i always get my symptoms like before my period comes i don't think it's gonna come just yet so we're gonna chill on that so this is the billy eilish perfume that i was trying to tell you guys that i got from the um the event sale they have going on and i got this 3.4 fluid ounce bottle y'all for 35 dollars i also got another perfume they had during the sale and once that one comes i'll show y'all that one i feel like a kid in the candy store honey this thing is huge y'all i can't believe they had the 3.4 um, on sale but i cannot wait to see how it smells I heard good things about it. Oh my God. I can smell this before I even spray it. I like this. Like it smells like a warm vanilla, um, super sweet. Not in a bad way, but nice feminine. Like damn, this smell good girl. Shoot. This smells so good. I'm so glad I got the big one. It smells good. And I also heard that it lasts all day, which is like, does it for me? Hopefully it actually does because I love when my perfumes last all day. Cause who hauling around a big ass bottle like this? I'm not hauling around no bottle. If I need some, like a touch up or something, I have oil in my purse and I got like a perfume in my car. And the bottle is very unique. Like I literally could use this like to put on my table for decor. This is really nice and it's sturdy. Y'all know these are my favorite earrings, so. Here we go. And I'll probably just put on like a silver watch or something like that. I love you, can't blame you. I'm in your city tonight. And these lights. Yeah. Why are my hands always ashy? I hope I got some lotion in this purse, girl. And I, I thought about bringing some glasses, but I'm like, you know what? <laughs> It ain't even giving no sun. It's like a overcast. It's kind of gloomy today, but today is still gonna be a good day nevertheless. Now I put on all that oil this morning. I put on shea butter and everything. And my hands still ashy. How sway? How? So I'm gonna take my rings off real quick and um, moisturize my hands. Now let me pull up this Waze app because uh, it's a fast car. I'm gonna drive it slow for, yeah. So let me um, pull it up because I need to know where the cops at. Oh boy, now it's starting to rain again. We just made it to Papa Do's, y'all. We were gonna go to um, the trampoline park before we came here, but because um, I asked the boys, I was like, I'm on the phone with Airshay, y'all. Why is it so loud? I don't know what's going on with my phone. But anyways, I'm gonna try to talk louder. So I asked the boys where they wanted to come first, and they said eat first, so we're here to eat, and then if they get hungry or want like a milkshake or something, before we get back on the road, we'll go to Chick-fil-A or something like that. But right now, I'm hungry, I'm ready to eat. I low-key wanna apply my, um, reapply my um, lip oil, but I'm like, you know what, we about to eat, so whatever. Um, if you guys have not noticed, I have been leaving the links to everything that I've been mentioning in my vlogs in my description bar below. So check that out. And if you guys shop the links that I actually have posted in my description um, for the items, uh, most of the links are actually uh, monetized. So, you know, you get to help sis out, give me a little coin or two, you know what I'm saying, by shopping that link. So we about to go inside. I'm hungry. I'm starving. And I'm excited we at Papa Do's. I brought my laptop and everything, but I won't, um, I'm not going to use my laptop while we're here. We're just going to eat, and then we're going to go 
to the trampoline park. And originally, we were supposed to go to um, Top Golf, but um, they didn't want to do Top Golf. I wanted to do it. I thought it would have been fun, and it's a beautiful day outside. I'm still trying to convince them. But I, I doubt it. I, 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 I highly know. doubt it. He already said he heard me. He doubted. He said no. <laughs> so we'll go another time. Maybe in, as they get a little bit older, maybe they'll appreciate like different things because like I don't know. Who wanna go? Who wanna jump every time? Can we try something different? And I actually wanted to do something too and be interactive because I'm a big kid, y'all. Like I'm a real big deal kid. Big ass kid. Listen. I love to do some fun stuff and have fun, y'all, but I guess I'm going to be sitting here doing work into my video. Let's go. You could have seen it for me. I would have gave it to you. He was not sleep. He was sleep. You were sleep though. He was talking to me. So <laughs> we almost did. No, I was asleep and then we Look back. at the menu to see what you want. Uh oh. Here, it's right here. So you can choose fried shrimp, fried catfish. Fried catfish. Yeah. They got grilled shrimp. Okay, so what you gonna get? I think they have grilled too. Let me see your meal. Grilled chicken. I want the Yeah, they do. They have grilled. They have grilled shrimp. I want the grilled shrimp. And, and, and my, um, no, can I get some crab legs? Um, uh, this is really not that type of restaurant. This is more like fried. Can I get some fried catfish? Fried catfish, yeah. And, that's it. And french fries? Okay. What you gonna get? Chicken tenders and fries. You are not getting no chicken tenders. Okay. And we get a seafood well, place. What? Well, we got a seafood place. Why can't get no crab legs? I don't know if they have crab legs, people. They have like lobster and stuff. Let me look at the menu and see. It's not like a deep You remember on your first one? Don't chicken tenders and fries in No. You're not getting chicken tenders either. I brought y'all here for nothing. Y'all want chicken? No, I want grilled food. And I fried cabbage. No, she need to get me a little shrinky drink, honey. Listen. <laughs> Especially while I wait on them. While they play and I just sit there. I'm really sad about it. <laughs> if y'all can't tell, that's why we came here. Because I'm like, I got to have a, a balance, okay? Since I'm not able to have fun and play with y'all, we're going to eat what I want to eat. How about that? Y'all, I am not a happy camper. Like, the service was terrible. Like, <clears throat> it's going to be a minute before I go to Papa Do's. And I'm not even really a complaining type of woman, y'all. Like, I don't really complain about a lot of stuff. But I was very upset today. Like... And normally when I feel like that, I would have asked for a manager, but I ain't even bother doing that. I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and take my little L, and it is what it is. But I was so upset, y'all. Like, they already took a long time to come to our table. Um, The guy, the server, he ended up letting me order, like, off the lunch menu because I ended up getting, like, two tenders, some shrimp, and a piece of catfish for, like, $19, which was really good, and french fries, too. And I got a side of dirty rice. One guy fried shrimp. But that's besides the point. Like, the food came out. Like, he literally reached over me to give Case and his food. Like, no excuse me. No thank you. Like, do you need anything else? Any condiments or anything? No, nothing. And then it was time for a refill. That took forever to bring me a refill, y'all. And then when he finally brought a refill for them, I literally had to pour the juice into their cups. Like, where they do that at? Like, when you come to a restaurant, especially like a restaurant like this, not saying this is like super <laughs> upscale, but I mean, be for real. Like, I don't care where I go. Like, if you're providing a service and it's supposed to be good, like you're a server, I expect my service to be good. But anyways, I'm, I'm so over it. I'm just like, whatever. It's going to be a minute before I eat here. And I literally wrote on my ticket, terrible service, uh, thumbs down. I wrote a sad face. And then I also, um, I did not leave a tip. And that's not like me at all, not to leave a tip. But I'm just so irritated. Like, I, first of all, I'm just irritated like... And this restaurant is already like 
an hour away from where I live. So what if I literally came here for a date night? Like I would have been pissed. Like it would have been a waste of my time, a waste of money, a waste of everything. I'm just over it. And my bill was only like $40 y'all, $44, $45, which wasn't bad, but I'm just like, even when he put the, the, the paper on my table, like with his pen and my card, like for you to sign and stuff, he didn't even say like thanks you know nothing he didn't say nothing and this was one of us by the way not saying that that's, that matters but it was a black guy and i'm just like hate to do it to you my boy but no tip for me today like the service has to be like pretty shitty for me to not leave a tip because i've actually been a server like i've worked in food and stuff before so i know what it's like to go to a table and there's nothing on it <laughs> so yeah that means i've had some i did some badass serving that day or for that table i actually had somebody to tell me that um when i was a server because it was like a black table and a white table and the black guy was like you were like over there so much helping them serving them you was basically he told me i was a shitty server to them um and they still end up tipping me really, really good. I think it was like at least $20. And that kind of showed me like from there on out, like don't be like one way with nobody because you, just cause you white don't mean you gonna tip. Just cause you black don't mean you not gonna tip. That's the stereotype. But I learned that and I ain't never did it again. Anyways, we're about to pull up. We're like three minutes away from the, um, the jumping place so we about to go in here they're about to get these 90 minutes in and then we finna go to the house and vibe out and relax because i've honestly have been enjoying my spring break it's been very chill you know nothing too crazy going on although i wish we would have went to the beach i'm not gonna stop saying it um but whatever and i realized when i was driving i forgot to put on mascara but i feel like my makeup and stuff like the blush is still there it's still very pretty it's giving like my skin but better period yeah we just got home y'all they had a really good time at the trampoline park i didn't vlog because i felt like we just went um for case and birthday not too long ago so i'm like eh, whatever but i did run into um marshall's while i was um out and I needed a new, or the TJ Maxx. I think it was TJ Maxx, but I needed a new phone case. My other one was a cute Kate Spade one, but they had this one in there for $8.99. So I just thought the pink was cute. And then I just put my little sticky back on the back of it. And it's so cute. And it kind of matched my nails. Ooh, get into it. Yeah. This case is going to be perfect. Hello? Hello? It's going to be perfect for the um, spring months. I think it's so cute. And y'all know my favorite color is pink. Listen, I'm about to get on ready, girl. I'm about to take my hair out this bun. I'm about to oil my scalp because um, I did not even oil my scalp yesterday. The only thing I did was literally air dry my hair, put some, or did I oil it? No, I didn't oil my scalp. I actually oiled my hair. I moisturized my hair. Um, and I love the as I am uh so much moisture that i showed you guys early in this vlog i love it like it has my hair super soft super moisturized and i even love the eco styler gel like i feel like it doesn't give my hair like a hard hold like my hair feels so moisturized and it's cute real cute and i like some of the little pieces that came out at the back of my little my bun it's so tiny y'all <laughs> But it's so cute. My baby is on the way and she is bringing her little cousin, Tater Bug. She is so sweet, y'all. I actually did her nails for her birthday. And when she comes tonight, cause she's actually gonna spend a night or either tomorrow, I'm gonna soak her nails off and redo them. But I think tonight we just gonna have like a little game night or something like that. So I'm about to go ahead and take my bath and stuff. And maybe I'll vlog a little bit of that because we love playing games, y'all. Uno in this house is our favorite. We love a good Uno game. And I feel like it's a great way for the kids to really like get out of the PlayStation, get out of the phone, the tablet, the Nintendos, to really get involved and like really use their cognitive thinking skills in another way, if that makes sense. Even like during the weekend stuff, like this week, Kaysen actually had to read a book and um, his teacher gave him a test on the first two chapters. So 
that was really good because we used to go to the library a lot but since i've been doing tutoring and i've been busy with working everything i really haven't had time to like spend time with him to take him to the library but i did go check this book out at the library for him like last week i believe and they had a test on it friday so i'm probably gonna let him read um two more chapters uh before he goes back to school because when they go back to school he also has some work and stuff to do that i printed off because he had to take the a cap and basically the a cap is um to sum it up it's the alabama literacy act so in order for um students that are in the third grade to show mastery and that they're ready for fourth grade they have to pass this test so um case is in the works for a lot of stuff and as it comes to pass um, I'm gonna let you guys know, but I'm super excited about one thing, which I know he's 100% gonna get. All of my babes out there, be praying for Kaysen because I know that he's gonna excel, he's gonna pass his test, and he moving on to fourth grade, period. So coming soon, I'll be back with the update and then you guys know how he did on the test and the exciting news that I have coming up for him too because I am so excited about that. And since we're on the topic of school, tell me why I had, so basically I have a new child in my classroom, right? Why did me and the parent we actually went to like school together? I think we went to like junior high school together, or something like that. So, of course, we're friends on Facebook. So, she writes me on Facebook. Why did my eye this eye just look a little bigger? My eyes are a little mm, listen, but it's still getting cute. <laughs> but, anyways, she wrote me on Facebook basically asking, Can she have a parent teacher conference because of her daughter Grace's past um nine weeks? and I had to explain to another parent too, y'all, like your child's grades are going to fluctuate because there are new skills, there are new standards that need to be mastered and need to be taught. Like what we learned in quarter one and quarter two, like which is the first nine weeks, second nine weeks, don't even matter the third nine weeks. So I'm just like, if, if, you know, if, if they get it, good. And I mean, if they slack a little bit, like I'm the teacher, I don't give grades in my classroom, y'all. Like because it's not essentially helping kids when we give them grades and when we just pass them on when we know they don't even know the standard or what they learned. So, um, maybe it's a shell shock because she got moved into my classroom and y'all, she's only been in my classroom maybe about like three or four weeks. But, C's not even that bad. Even though I don't want C's coming to my house, okay? I don't want no C's. We want A's and D's. I really want all A's. But, I get it and I, I actually like that um, I did have her and another parent to reach out about their concerns because I mean I definitely think more parents should be more involved and more concerned you know because I got I got students in my class y'all I'm not even gonna hold you that's got D's and L's and I'm like you should be asking for a parent conference a parent teacher conference but I mean then again some people already know their kids they already know where they are they already just they just know so yeah but I said all that to say I would never like write Casey's teacher on social media if we were friends and I would never write a parent on social media like if we were friends on social media so you know what's about to happen next blocked block it yes ma'am cuz I'm not about to play with you like when it comes to like my job and my professionalism like outside of work on social media like see that's why I'm going to the gym tomorrow cuz no but anyways, um, outside of social media, I'm Dritha, I'm Angel, I'm so classy Angel, I'm Shundritha, whatever you know me as. And uh, uh, in person, and at my job, and at my job in my school, I'm Miss McCall. And that's just that. I'm just being honest. Like, I don't mix the two. I very rarely even talk about, like, work on my channel a whole lot just because um i want to share with you guys not saying that i'm not who i am at work but i really want to just be comfortable and share my authentic self like be my authentic self with you guys and not have to worry about like all of that like baby if you work in the corporate world or if you work a nine to five then you know exactly what i'm talking about you got to have a balance, especially if you active on social media, not necessarily saying you're a content creator or a social media influencer, or whatever you want to call it. But it's got to be a balance. Like the line has to be drawn. I mean, damn. I just honestly feel like I've dealt with this a long time. Like because don't be mad 
mad at me because I actually went to school, got my degree, graduated, and I'm working in my field, and I'm teaching y'all kids. And I, we was just cutting up in the classroom together, skipping school. You feel what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, don't judge me, okay? I'm young and turned too, just like you are, Miss Mamas, and I gotta have a life outside of my job too. And honestly, that's why even when people like my co-workers and colleagues want to know my social media handles. I don't be bugging with none of that, okay? I will see y'all ass Monday through Friday, 9 to 4. And after that, that's it. That's all. I used to even run into, like, clubs. Like, when I was heavy into, like, going out to clubs and stuff, y'all. To some of my parents in clubs. And I'd be like this. Because you ain't see me, boo. Okay? And if you did, you better act like you Ray Charles. Okay, cause some people are grimy. It's it's a it's a grimy world out here. Like it's it's grimy. But I'm sure my principal won't believe it anyway. Even if somebody tried to do some grimy to me, because my work speaks for itself, and that's just that on that. Let me take my shower and stuff, cause y'all know I go on and on. Um, put on some little pajamas or something. I'm not gonna take my bun down just yet, but I do not sleep with the bun in my hair, cause I want my hair to grow and flourish. And then we'll play some games, and we'll. Have a little bit more fun and talk a little bit more and then i'll end the vlog <laughs> hope you guys are enjoying smash that subscribe button if you are yeah, well, that's, that's my time too it's my turn and then not the hers oh my me. god all right it's my turn oh, you, uh, who back who's no 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 okay oh no no, no it's green. green who turned Tyson? uh yeah Okay. Oh no! Oh no! No, bro! No, bro! Hold on! It's my turn.